Hello, the beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rose Shueva. I am a Namibian YouTuber who is living in China right now. I don't know. Every time when I say I am a Namibian YouTuber living in China, I'm starting to feel like I should just say I am a creative on the internet, right? <laughs> because I'm not just creating for a specific group of people, but I am creating for any person who is watching from any different parts of the world. And yes, but I am namibian all right so you're welcome to my youtube channel if it's the, your first time being here uh, let me know in your comment section where are you watching from and if you're the squad 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 thank you so much for coming back for another video let me know as well in the comment section and communicate talk to me because this conversation is not only for me but it's for us to have an interactive uh conversation like sharing you know it's um i don't know it all I'm just sharing what i know and i'm also hoping that i can learn from you through the comment section and guys today i'm talking about lockdown mental health i'm talking about this because i feel it is a very challenging topic it's very challenging to be locked down and you don't know what is next it is very challenging to be locked down and you don't know what to expect for your future you don't know what is next for you and you just have no idea when you're going to come out from lockdown and i do understand whatever you're feeling right now it is valid and i hope that you can find someone that you can talk to because for real it is very crucial for us to be in check with our mental health and i'm talking from an experience as i lived here for this whole time that I lived in China but right now we are still on lockdown in a way not in the city where I am but I know a number of people who are in cities where they're really really going through it and they just don't know who to tend to I hope this video enlighten you as anyone who is going through the lockdown and maybe anyone who is going through isolation from my own experience I can say that lockdown had pushed me against the wall to challenge myself mentally to challenge the inner person who is rosalia who is inside rosalia who is in my brain all the time i am constantly challenged by isolation as a student and isolation as a person who is living in abroad isolation as a person who is living away from home away from the loved ones and constantly challenged by isolation isolation that came from different circumstances and now the pandemic has even extended and stre strengthened and extended the isolation that i felt and lockdown has now proven that even on a different scale because we are indoor we cannot go out we have to maybe buy food online we have to cook for ourselves we have to stand up for ourselves we have to be in check and intact for ourselves 24 hours in isolation and that is really really difficult it has been very difficult and it's still challenging i can say i'm talking from my own experience and i hope that you can also share your experience in the comment section for one to be isolated and for one to be in lockdown those are double swords that are coming to me all the time it's double swords in the fact that yes being abroad away from your family and everything it's already really really difficult you are constantly taking care of yourself 24 hours turning up waking up pushing yourself like pushing yourself and setting yourself into giving yourself targets and trying to attain those those are difficult guys keeping up your momentum by yourself it's difficult because you're constantly reminding yourself that you are you need to do better you need to wake up even though no one is watching you you need to wake up and try your best even no one is constantly checking in with you you need to make sure that your mental health is in check even when there is no a therapist there's no a counselor there's no a support group and that is very challenging and i think the challenge you, you're even reminded more louder when you hear yourself talking to yourself like internalizing your inner voice listening constantly in your inner voice and waking up every day with no one around you 
it is very heartbreaking and lockdown mental health can be very challenging and it's challenging in the fact that you are constantly even reminded that where you are you don't have the freedom you cannot have anything that you want right now you cannot go anywhere that you want like previously at least you could do with going to a place and refreshing your brain but now you are just indoor with no one watching you but you yourself the amount of ideas and things that come to your head the amount of the the quality of self-talk that will be in your head and the negativity that comes back to your brain and constantly like the voice in your in your head the voice in your head i think that's the biggest challenge in lockdown because your voice will constantly be talking to you and reminding you of all the inadequacy of all the bad things surrounding you or maybe even the inadequacy of not being at a, a certain place or not being connected to anyone guide okay, isolation and lockdown it is a very challenging place and whoever is going through lockdown right now i do sh sh want to share that it is valid to feel whatever you're feeling and i hope that you can reach out to someone in your neighborhood or someone in your circle to talk to if you feel like you cannot keep up with your inner voice because if when you're locked down you are alone and you need to face your inner voice and your inner voice can be very negative can be giving you so many different thoughts i mean like waking up every single day and you feel like i don't want to do anything i don't want to eat i don't want to even shower i just want to stay in my pajamas the whole day because who why does it even make sense for me to try my to look fresh and why why does it even make sense for me to try and do something i mean like lockdown proves isolation is so difficult you know and it's constantly reminding you that you need to make sure that you're this how you're talking to yourself it's kind how you are thinking it's kind it's a constant reminder that you need to clean your thoughts because if you're not cleaning your thoughts you will end up thinking of even like extremely bad things you could think of even hurting yourself you could think of extremely challenging situations you know and lockdown has a way of really depriving someone's freedom not only freedom from your surrounding but freedom from your own mind because when you're idle and in isolation your mind is even on a 24-hour work where 24-hour work of constantly reminding you of the negatives that are, is happening in the world and it, it is actually happening to all of us you know given the fact that mental health is not something that you will be experiencing and there's something outward that is showing to people that is even more dangerous for all of us so i would want to make this video to enlighten you guys that if you're feeling that if you're in lockdown right now and you have some difficult feelings that you are dealing with it's valid but i hope that you have someone to talk to and i hope that you deal with that with kindness towards yourself because it is really difficult we are all going through this but it's even louder to know that you are in lockdown in isolation and alone and i hope this video just brings you clarity and enlighten you that you're not alone you will go through this going through this will not be easy it will be very difficult but I wish you so much strength as you go through this. All right. Uh, until my next video, stay humble, stay positive, and work hard towards your goals. And bye.